Hello everybody, it's me Martin and GTA San Andreas, it is, yes, again. So um, in the last video I completed all the missions that Woozy was give to CJ, helping his triad or criminal empire and they basically moved out to another island for future missions basically and now I have one issue. Um, after I co I completed the driving school, I was aware that this thing unlocks the Vanguard's asset. So I already got a call. So it's time to have some kind of chat with this person. All right. So um yeah, what I was going to do here is that now I have this um, car license thing. Uh, I think I'm able to buy a whole asset, which is about just selling cars. I mean, it's fully optional. It really doesn't affect on the main story, and I believe that this um, company's missions or assets missions are t taking place after the main plot of this game. Some references in the cutscenes that weren't really mentioned during this part of the story or, or maybe later. So um, yeah, let's head inside. Alright, zeroing in. Besides the first mission, I love the rest of this. that's supposed to save all of our worthless lives you want to get in look i thought this was supposed to be our foot on the ladder i thought we were gonna make this place work hey it might look like we plan cars but we actually planning don't worry sweet baby we're about to go get our first project sweet baby <laughs> it works what works oh just a simple bit of electronic wizardry and intellectual bombast that hacks into the state-of-the-art satellite immobilization technology on board our target vehicle <laughs> Oh, me. I don't know what he just said, but it's on. Yes, it's on. Wait, what's on? Well, opening business. This gadget is set to pick up on cell phone signal. Uh -huh. Each time she makes a call, it will give you the new location. You have to stay close if you're going to get an updated position, though. Okay? Um. So, what should I follow? This bike or... Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it happened in the wrong time. Okay, so... We have to track down this girl right there, who's always talking to somebody on a phone and... Yeah. I need to spin or... I need to spin her car out, but the problem is that I don't know where is she exactly. Oh, right behind me? What? Yeah, there she is. Sup? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the right way to spin her out, but... Um, I try my best. The problem with this mission is that the chase is better than the catch. All right, that that ended quite terrible. Okay. <laughs> Was she driving up here? Maybe I can just run over her, her run over her in the front. <laughs> but not like that. I mean, I thought I can cut down this tree because this can be moved away pretty quickly. I mean, it's obviously depending how fast you're driving in it or to it. I'm coming! No. I don't want to rail over her, but yeah, I need that car anyway. And her driving skills is really unpredictable. Crazy maniac. I'm, I'm not even sure if she's scripted to drive properly. I mean, maybe there's some kind of direction or weight she's coded to, but I don't know. 
she really feels like out of control, but okay, it, it ended well, great. It ended pretty awesome or acceptable. I thought I would chase her all over to Las Venturas. But yeah, now I need to just uh, fix her car up a bit to sell it in a better price, for a better price. It's so strange that every time um, I get tired, then I start making videos, I always recover my energy. Or recovering from my tiredness, basically. And I don't know why is that. Maybe for some excitement, the fact that I can um, record my favorite games and just talk about it as long as I want. Probably that's the key why I do enjoy making this, even though it could be way better than if I just go to sleep for a little time. Okay, it's done. Great. Okay, so basically what happened here is that now I can um, customize cars. I mean, different type of cars in a more enhanced way. Like in Underground 2. So um, the rest of missions are, are a bit easier to me and more fun. So yeah, let's go. Test drive. Oh god, loud music and I will get some copyright strike strikes. Great. There's two cars on the list, they say. And they're in the showroom across town. Let's go get them. Alright. Always admire your direct approach, huh, Bray? Oh no, they can fix like this. Um, okay, let's go get those wheels. Esperanto up. Yeah, but I need a car, you know. Something that could be great for this short time. I like this place, you know. You like this place, do you? Wait, San Piero, man. My home will always be the Barrios and El Corona. But this city, it has something gentle about it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Kendall seems to like it too, you know? Oh yeah, she's really getting her head into this business thing. That's good. She always been a brain to the plan. She should get out together and make something of herself. I think she's aiming to make something out of all of us, eh? <laughs> yeah, she the mom to the family now. Hey, who's this truth guy, Holmes? I don't think he's wrapped too tight. He just sees everything from a different perspective, that's all. At first, I thought he was just another asset casualty fruitcake. Some of the things he say, I don't know, man. It ain't all bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna become an alien hunter, Holmes? <laughs> I'll take a rain check on that one. <laughs> Come on, roll over. Great. The pretty ironic thing about this whole mission is at first, it feels like Fast and Furious. Second thing, this will be the same car what he will drive in this mission. So, um, yeah, we could just take this car to the selling spot. And yeah, Kendall, I do believe if there's some kind of continuation of this game, then it will be just that um, having some kind of uh, management game where Kendall controlling the local businesses that are connected to CJ, and that's all. <laughs> Sure, no problem, Brian. Ah, uh, you a maniac, yes, I mean, the reason why I just said Brian because uh, Paul Walker used to drive this um, Nissan Skyline in some of the Fast and Furious movies. So, um, yeah, that's all. Nothing really special. Come on, let's go! Also, it's just fun to see Caesar's. Um, I mean, it's just fun to hear Caesar how he get excited. I mean, he really feels like some kind of ch child or kid who really seems to be happy that he can finally play some Hot Wheels. It's just a fun mission. And the scripted the cars, cops. The only thing that I don't like is that Caesar's cars can't be broken or can't be damaged by physically. Unlike I, I'm the one who always can be blown up. But what I notice is that notice is that um, in this mission the cops actually chasing Caesar. I mean, sure it's scripted, but 
no one else seems to be attacking me. Oh no, that's terrible. Is there anything interesting else? Oh no! Damn! <laughs> and I love how CJ is a fan of this whole um, car heist. <laughs> if you say so. At your command! You trying to ruin my day, asshole? Yeah, he living his moment. Sure, let's go. But first, I got to fix this thing up. I mean, jeez, it looks terrible. All right, I'm here. Right, my new paint job. You like the paint job, whatever. Okay, two missions left of, from this of this um, site asset. Yeah, I got it. It's in a manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it. Damn. Hey, Cease, your boy is here. We got a visitor? What? Hi. Hey. We're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Mom's sweet smoke. I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Yeah, just be happy and... What's wrong with his model? It's some hey, kind of cut model from the beta, an NPC model? I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading of cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Okay, let's go peep it out, see what we can see. So we're going to steal some cargo, I mean a, a whole cargo, whatever. Um, so the reason why I said that these missions feels like they are taking place after the main story is this certain cutscene. I mean, he mentions Smoke, Rider and Sweet and they both have, they all have some kind of major role in the plot. And it looks like CJ is still trying to find some kind of decent way to live with his family after the main events of the game. The reason why Smoke is mentioned because we all know how he's going to end up in the story similar to Ryder and Sweet is just we all know how grumpy he is and stubborn especially in the later part of the game but it can be just as accurate during the late part of the plot instead of the epilogue of it because this is how I call the Vanguard's um, missions okay uh, can I change the camera all right I don't know I think it's randomized how these containers are placed and which one has the right car. I'll just be quick and, and that's all. I mean this whole mission is just a side mission, uh, not side mission, a... Not this one, CJ. Okay. So this whole um, mission is just some kind of tutorial how the crane works and obviously you have to sell cars to this import export uh, export side mission it's one of the best way to actually get some money or earn some money 
without go inside of the betting shop. Okay, you like that? No All right. Is that? Okay, CJ. This is the one. Good work, Hobbs. Okay. Obviously, somebody made a call to take a look at us and our operation. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Oh CJ, no! I could do with some help. Sure, no problem. I'm coming, homie. Who's next? I think a third car may right come. There, oh, just guards. Let's just get the car and get out of here. I'm on it. Where are you going, CJ? Is there a Supra? Oh God. I don't know. The only place for these underground cards, cards like to customize them is only in San Fierro. I mean, I know the other um, car customizer places that is more um, more related to any kind of car in the game can be found at least one in each city. But this special one, it can be found only in here, San Fierro. And yeah, the game just showed me that um, now I can complete the import-export mission by collecting the certain cards that are shown in the in the board. But yeah, that's it. Are you guys okay? I'm sure it's pretty late when I start this mission. Oh, that CG hey man, had been? his own business. I tricked one of the cars on our shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car. And you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I think I got an idea. So the idea is that He's using this um, special car for for basically um, really some spikes that can blow her tires up in exchange to giving the car new rims, I guess. Okay, just let's head. Let's head to it and finish this mission and this video, basically. I mean, the ones that are actually taking care of the main story or plot might have been might be longer videos than this especially that this is just as optimal um, place to f do missions such as uh, Zero's shop yeah that's all okay there she is this super generic car that's it CJ, come on, go out. Oh, you're so slow, man. Or maybe I should just, I should have just pulled down the um, brakes. Jeez. Now I need to run all over there and I can use cheats because a jetpack would help. Is this the car that I was looking for? I guess. 
Alright, great. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her. Just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that puncture repair shit. Nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Well, just fix the card. Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh, shit. All over my clothes. I mean, how was CJ able to fix that thing? Didn't the equipment was hidden or placed in the car that's now under the river? I mean, I know video game logic and stuff, but still, I, I don't know. I, I would consider this mission a failure because it wasn't planned this car to be sink. And I still don't know why I hate this car. It looks super generic, but the speed of this thing is really good. I guess that's all for today. Why was this sound effect? I mean, I'm sure the garage door has a texture behind. But whatever. Now I have a proper asset that actually seems to be legit. I mean, yes, CJ do have other assets to take care of. He already earned some while I was doing the side missions. But yeah, uh, that's all about this Vanguard story. And in the next video, I'll continue the main plot and things will get start interesting, especially that we unlock the... Um, we heading to the end of the game. I mean, we are way beyond further from the middle part or center part of it. So yeah, see you guys later.